How can I safely package my art resin pieces? We actually answered this question in detail in a video from earlier this year. Take a look. Rebecca from Art Resin here today to talk about how to package your art resin art for shipping. So you made some beautiful artwork, you coated it in art resin, and you sold it for a ton of money. Now you need to ship it to your buyer and make sure that it gets there safely and securely. There are some do's and some don'ts that I'm gonna share with you. First and foremost, you absolutely must make sure that your work is fully cured. In this case, that means 72 hours post a pour. Now, while it may seem fully cured after that 24 hour mark, it's good enough to hang on the wall, but it's not good enough to package because you're gonna be wrapping it in all of these packaging materials and you, you just need to make sure that everything is 100% fully cured. So wait 72 hours. If you've actually poured a really thick layer on there, then you'll wanna wait even longer than that. The next step you should do is put on some gloves to avoid getting fingerprints all over your artwork. This might seem like an insignificant detail, but trust me, it's gonna save you some headaches in the long run. Next, you wanna roll out a blanket so you have a nice soft surface for working on and avoid any scratches on your art resin surface. So now we're ready to get into the packaging materials and we actually recommend that you work in layers with the first layer against the surface of the art resin being a beautiful product called glassine. It's a paper product, it's really smooth, it's glossy, it's non-abrasive, it's acid-free, and it will not scratch up your nice art resin surface. It's actually something that's used by museums and photographers to make sure that their photos don't stick to one another. Um, it can be a little hard to find. Actually, I recommend getting it from Uline or Amazon. Those are pretty reliable sources for glassine. So glassine looks a little like tissue paper, but I'll show you the difference. It's really not the same at all. Tissue paper is very cheap feeling. It is a little abrasive when you compare the two. And so when you're talking about protecting your beautiful art that you've spent so much time on, don't cheap out. Go with the glassine, it's smooth, it's acid free, and you will be happy with it. Now let's say you can't find glassine or it's just really too cost prohibitive for you. I have three other options. This is craft paper, this brown stuff. You've probably seen this before. This can do a very nice job protecting the art resin surface. This is butcher paper, again, a lot cheaper. Not as nice as glassine, but it will do the trick. And if you're really in a pinch, parchment. But as I said, I really do recommend using glassine. So that's what we're gonna use today. So we're just gonna wrap this like a present. You can just use scotch tape for this, it's totally fine. So now the surface is protected and we just need to put some cushioning around this to make sure that it doesn't get bumped around too much when you give it to the shipping carrier. And for that, I have this nice material. This is called polyfoam. It comes in different thicknesses. I have a really thin one here, so I'm gonna double up, maybe even quadruple up depending on uh, how overprotective I want to be. And, and again, you just wrap like a present. Now, if for some reason you can't find polyfoam, you do need some sort of cushion in there. So make sure that you're wrapping in a drop cloth, some rags, or even just cardboard, anything to mitigate the, the bump and the shock of shipping. So voila, this is all set, ready for the box. Now, one thing I do need to make you aware of is bubble wrap. Bubble wrap is a giant no-no for the simple reason that these little bubbles are like a million little fingerprints all over your art. And especially if this is all wrapped around your art and stuck in a shipping truck with weight on top of it, that's really gonna make a whole lot of little impressions on your art resin surface that neither you nor your buyer are gonna be very happy with. So get rid of this. You don't need it. Stick with the foam or the cardboard and you and your buyer are gonna be so happy you did. So from here, just choose your appropriate size box, slip it in there, put a label on it, breathe a sigh of relief that your piece is properly protected. 